Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about retarded nonsense. From Bound to Comics, Morphid Clark attempts to defend radical changes to J.R.R. Tolkien's work in The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. So, you know, before, before the spoiler alert, in fact, spoiler alert, before we continue, just so you know, it's going to be exceptionally stupid! There you go. Now you're ready to enjoy the nonsense. Right. Clark spoke with them thus when she claimed, Oh, but Tolkien so was a really complex person. Who wrote a really complex world? And this idea that anyone could know exactly what he would have wanted or what he would have liked is, mm, I feel nonsense. Hashtag bigots. Well, first and foremost, you absolute retarded bitch. Tolkien. He described every single character to extreme details of what he meant. But the personalities, the style, he even described the lore of the entire world he created. Well, then again, it's coming from the bald real actress who... Hmm, is not that uh, interested in following the lore, but then again, she's getting paid for. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm assuming a very handsome amount for nonsensical garbage, but then again, <laughs> hey, at the very least, at the very least, Amazon renewed um, the terminal list, so that's always good. Anyway, let's move on. Because Tolkien was very, very specific. Ah, here it is. Before crossing the mountains, the hobbits had already divided into three somewhat different breeds, Hartford, Stewards, and Followheights. For Amazon, these idiots behind it, uh, they think that Harfords are a precursor to hobbits. Well, no. Harfords are a breed of hobbits, as in, they are hobbits. They are just a different type of hobbit. Yeah, no, I know, these people are fucking troglodytes, and they actually think that um, Harfords were browner of skin, that for them, browner of skin means blacks. That's what it means to these idiots. <sighs> right, let's move on. Where was I? Oh, right. He, he reiterated, here is Tolkien talking about it, of what he means about hobbits in the Second Age, in which this affront to tokenism is, you know, rings of power. I'm now under contract engaged, among the last of the less congenial tasks, in putting order for publication of the mythology and stories of the First and Second Ages, written long ago, but church hardly publishable until, so it seems, the surprising success of the Lord of the Rings, which comes at the end, has provided a probable demand for beginnings. For the beginnings. But there are, I fear, no hobbits in the Silmarillion. Our history of the three jewels, little fun or earthiness, but mostly grief and disaster. It is him describing the origins of the hobbits and where it went. But, of course, of course, we are dealing with retards. People who does not respect its work, the work, the lore, and everything else of Tolkien. Here it is! Learning Lenny Henry, a moron. Of course. No, no. Of course! If you go back, there's going to be that thing that prevails. Because the book don't say, although some of the characters are described as hot skin and dark in complexion, but I was then, this is now, we are telling the story now. The story is mine, 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 and not yours. Hashtag bigots. There you go. So basically, it's not Tolkien. It's, um, it's not Lord of the Rings. It's a discount Game of Thrones show. That costed surprisingly a huge amount. And apparently, it looks worse than a CW show. 
So what the fuck happened with those billions? No, those millions, nearly a billion of the show, the most expensive show ever fucking made. Poor Amazon spent so much money in a shitty show. But then again, well, it's a show for the woke darts. It's a show for the idiots. Will they consume? Are there enough idiots to consume this garbage? We don't know. Not yet. But we'll soon find out. On that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.